I will do it, okay? Of course I'm gonna do it. You don't have to worry, okay? I'm a little late to this. I get this came out six days ago, so my bad. But if uh, you know Jane Remover is gonna release something new, I'm going to listen to it. I'm only like slightly hesitant in the sense of like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna make it on a project, like on an album. It's been a year, about a year since we got Frailty, I guess. But yeah, Royal Blue Walls and Cage Girl, love those, love, 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 love those songs. I'm assuming I'll like this too. Like, I don't really think it's going to uh, shock me how I feel about this song. Starts off like a Godspeed You song. this album. Even this little, you know, part that looks like the shimmering on there. Great album, if you haven't listened to it, so like, it's up there. Top 20 maybe for me, I think. Yeah, I fucking love this. I love this song. Um, I am... I'm really shocked, though. I think being shocked is a good thing. Um, just the the growth that we've gotten from this artist, in my opinion, is scary. I think it's scary. Scary in a good way. Okay, just in the sense of uh, you are not really seeing um, an artist be this, like... Um, have this type of growth so quickly, okay? Because we're in 2022. 2021 is when we had their two projects that were I uh, am obsessed with. You know, I, I guess I just don't really expect. Um, and then even the stuff with the Daria core, like I just didn't expect to have a new artist come into my life like this and really blow me away. Especially the it being connected to my YouTube channel uh, and just just deciding. You know, I'm like, oh, okay, Teen Week, I think this may be like a sound that, you know, uh, the people who watch my videos would like. That was it, right? And so there's history uh, right there uh, for my life. I really think that's crazy. Uh, in the sense of like, oh, I'm not really going to bring Blade in, into this discussion when it's like, I knew who they were well before my channel. This, no. And this, J the, under the new name, these three singles that have come out, it is just a shocking decision for me. For, 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 it's just shocking decision. First off, totally walking away from uh, this electronic sound, which I'm kind of upset about, but then I'm also not, right? Because I think that there is a, a, a creative direction, at least, 
that I'm that I'm happy about, right? But there was just so much forward thinking things happening with the other sound, um, just even production wise, that I can't connect or compare to anyone else. This though, th these sounds I do think I can compare to a more um, like this seems aligned with like um, classic indie uh, music. Um, drone type sounds here, which I think, what's the one, uh, like emo, post hardcore, Unwound, thinking of Unwound, that one album, uh, that reminds me of this as well, um, this is strange, this one's really strange, I was saying earlier, I feel like this is, like, the sense of this, like, childish, it's not childish, but, like, you could tell that the emotions on other songs projects beforehand were coming from like a youthful uh, point of view you know this person's still quite young but I feel like there is a uh, a different sense of wisdom I'm afraid I only changed myself okay so lyrically I think so right away we're already getting this person that you like or have a, a faction for um, and you are sort of realizing that that the great things that you were feeling um, with them wasn't really real. And it's sad to say that as a, at a, a age as young as you are, people don't actually like know what that is. Some people do, but other people don't. And you got trapped in that, it seems. Um, and you even go in to say, um, no lover of mine cuts deep into a clean face. Now he's just like me delusional. Okay. I do think it's just going to go into, like I said, I'm not in love, please don't hurt me. So now you are feeling like you need to you want to repress your emotions because you know what it what it's actually going to end up in, right? Like, there's nothing good coming out of this. Um, but in a way, it's because the emotions are, are, are real enough that you can't control it. You know what I mean? The emotions are real if you know that you can't control it. Um, you can't control um, the outcome. Do you feel young again when you're on top of me? I can't be taken if I give it away. Again, you are allowing to us to visualize this very vulnerable moment uh, with this person, right? This vulnerability, um, they, and when you say give it away, right, you are, you are giving this vulnerability, you know what I mean? Like, y because of your emotions, because of how much you like this person, there doesn't have to be this balance, uh, uh, really. Um, you're it, almost, I almost get the sense that you're in like an, an excited state, right? I think the backing though kind of change, uh, pairs with that in an interesting way too. Um, but to go from that, right? Like you did give it away, and when you gave it away, because we're already at the start of the song, you know, realizing that you didn't really get um, the full outcome that you wanted. Um, I chop myself up and shut myself out until my body shuts itself down. So you are going full on. You don't want to feel it. It's all you're all you're done with it. Um, I pour the boiling water on my hand. Um, I still feel enough to touch myself, and even though I don't feel like doing it anymore. So, it, it, yeah. So you are so um, upset about how this person treated you, and it may not even be about this full on treatment, but much more about. The fact that the treatment you got wasn't what you desired. You wanted there, there to be that full care, and you didn't get that. And, you know, I think f from past experience for me and for many, many, you know, this is a, certainly a human feeling, um, you know, but to not get what you wanted from somebody, like wanting them to like you in a certain way, oh, for sure. Uh, for sure. And especially if you've already shared, you've already, you know, deepened that relationship with someone, you know what I mean? It's not like some cute little crush, like you've certainly had some interactions with them um, that were emotional, that were intimate. Um, but and here in this point though, right, you are hurting yourself. And when you are inflicting the harm now because of somebody else, um, you have the ability to touch yourself, but you won't do it. 
Um, and again, touching yourself and this connection with the song, right? It's really about um, loving yourself though, right? You're having something with someone else. It wasn't as full on real, but at the end of the day, you still have yourself. You don't have to rely on this human being uh, to give you these needs. Although, right, of course we'd want it, but you don't even have that for yourself. Um, and I think that even not having that for yourself, it also connects with the uh, lyrics at the end of this, right? You shoved enough food in your mouth, right? You're, you're doing, you shove too, right? Like you are uh, ha forcing yourself to go through uh, um, what you need to do to, to survive. Um, so there's a pretty intense depression coming from this, and I can run out the words, I don't think I can do it anymore. Um, so, um, like I was saying, there's a maturity to these lyrics, but then there also is still an immaturity. There's still an immaturity when it comes to like how to uh, think about love, think about relationships, think about um, your con comparison to other people. And you know what? I think even with frailty, I was already discussing like uh, lyrically, like there is the way that this uh, person is thinking, although I've been there, you know, I've been there, I still have moments here at like 23 years old, right? But noticing that like this type of expression really shows um, the negativity the, or the thought patterns they're putting themselves through that is not healthy, that isn't like um, the way to sort of cope with these things. Now, this doesn't go into full deeper detail on what this relationship really meant, but all we really do know is that you are um, letting the way that this person treat you, like it almost like you're like internalizing that. You're treating yourself like shit because you're not getting what you want. Um, it's certainly a shame. It's certainly a shame. Um, yeah, fuck though. This, honestly, if you do go through anything like breakup wise or like bad romantically, this is a song to put on. Let me tell you, this is the one where you're going to be like fucking just beating the shit out of yourself. Um, mentally. I feel that with this track. Okay. This is good. I'm excited for another project or anything else that will come. Um, yeah. It impresses me. This really does impress me, so I'm here for it. If there's anything else you want to see me react to, anything at all, um, put a comment down below, and um, thank you for watching. Peace.